good day. My name is Mrs. A. Wilson, a social studies teacher, and today we will be looking at the BJC social studies mapping skills. We will focus on the map of the Bahamas. As you can see on your screen, the map of the Bahamas featured is from the past paper for 2012. On that map, there is a blue ball and a blue arrow that identifies the island of Rum Key. Look at question number one on the opposite side, and it states, the main settlement on the island of Rum Key is, and the answer highlighted in blue is Port Nelson. As you can see, the map does not have any labeling, so you will have to know where your islands and settlements are located. Let us take a closer look at question number two. In question number two, it is asking you for the name of the island that is located in D7. D7 is an example of a grid reference mapping skill that you would be required to know. It is a grid reference that has a letter and number. This type of grid reference is called an alphanumeric grid reference. Now let us go to our map and see if we can identify the island that is located in D7. The first thing that you would do is find the letter, the column that has the letter D. This column as I am illustrating, is represented by the letter D on this map of the Bahamas. After finding the letter, you would need to find the number seven, which was given, because you are trying to locate block or square D7. So you're going to go over here, and the square for D7 is this square right here. And as you can see, there is an island in that square or block. That island is called Abaco. So the answer for number two, the island that is located in D7 is Abaco. If you found this illustration helpful, in your studies for the map of the Bahamas, feel free to do a booking for a session so that we can go through the entire map of the Bahamas. Additionally, there are also maps of the world and coursework and other topics under social studies which we can explore. Thank you for your attention.